What's up, wonderful website creators? All right, you might be wondering, what kind of fonts should you add to your website? What are the best fonts to use? How should I be styling up my fonts on my website? And if you're anything like me when I was new, you might be experimenting, trying all kinds of different things, trying to get super creative, and something just doesn't feel or look right, and it's hard to put your finger on it. At least that was my experience when I first started off, and it's okay. I mean, you should have seen my first websites, man. Yeah, they were, um, well, this video should help out. I got three basic rules to use. They're very simple rules. They're very simple to follow. And I guarantee you, if you follow these three rules, your website is going to look cleaner. It is going to look more professional. And even if you are brand new to web design or you're a do-it-yourselfer and you're just creating a website for your own business. Rule number one, stick to just one to two fonts on a website never use more than two fonts and that's a rule of thumb you should never ever use more than two fonts on a website and if you're brand new i highly recommend and suggest just sticking to one font before moving on to two and trying font pairings stick with one it makes it simple and clean and the more simple you make it the more cleaner your website's going to look the reason why we don't want to use more than two fonts is when you start to use several different fonts, it's it's messy, it's random, it's inconsistent. And then also, every single time somebody goes to your website, that the fonts have to load. And if you have many fonts on there, all the fonts have to load whenever someone goes to the website, and that's going to slow your website down. All right, rule number two. Do not experiment with creative fonts. And these are fonts like cursive and rounded fonts and handwritten fonts. You know, they're really nice. They look really cool. And this is something I did when I was new because I see one in the presentation. I download it because it looked it looked just super dope. But then I put it on my website and I just couldn't get it to look right. And now after years of studying typography and studying web design, I found out that even for an experienced web designer, these fonts are hard to use. What you wanna do is you wanna stick with the clean, easy to read fonts. If you're gonna use sans serif, use something like Helvetica, Prompt, or Railway. And if you wanna have a classier type of font, use a serif font and make sure it's easy to read. I suggest using something like Playfair Display, Baskerville, or Una. And all these fonts that I just named, they're all really easy to read. They're clean. You can use them as a title. You can use them as your text, your regular body text. And they're all on Google Fonts, which makes them easy to use and free also. And rule number three, create a style guide. One of the biggest reasons a website usually looks messy and unprofessional is because of an inconsistent usage of fonts. A style guide will make sure all your fonts and all your titles and everything stays consistent throughout the site. No randomness, everything follows a guide. Take for instance this guide right here that I created. I kept it really simple and I also added a link to the description so anyone could go ahead and go to this. It's on Figma, which is a free design tool. Duplicate it and use it as a template. You'll see that I have a style for the large, extra large titles, a style for your large, medium, and small titles, a style for your regular paragraph and body text, and even the button text. And this is it. If you use a guide like this and put it across your whole site, your website's gonna look really clean because it's gonna look consistent and it's gonna look professional as well. And if you're using Elementor, here's something really cool with Elementor. They have something new in Elementor, which is a style guide for typography and fonts. So you could actually have something like this built into Elementor, which makes keeping your fonts clean and consistent throughout your site super easy. I mean, it's absolutely amazing. And I'll be having a tutorial coming up soon on using style guides in Elementor. So make sure to subscribe and you know all that good YouTube stuff, subscribe, like, comment. It's really appreciated. I'm very grateful for everyone watching this and I'll be back soon with more web design and Elementor related content. All right, thank you.